Hi, this video is about the different uh, grading methods available for the Moodle environment. In prior videos, I talked about the three different type of uh, assignment activities. Um, there's a large uh, new component added to Moodle that allows you to create uh, a marking guide and or a rubric. Um, let me show you what those look like. So I created a grading method demo assignment. Right here is the assignment. Um, it's like any other assignment. It's an online assignment. It, it really doesn't matter what type of an assignment it is. So you can see right here, there is no uh, grade attached to it, uh, grading system attached to it, if you will. Um, no rubric as a system. It's simple grading. So just arbitrarily, no criteria presented officially to the students on how the assignment's going to be graded. Um, so you would just punch in the grade that they earned here. Um, here is the advanced grading options. If you click on this, this will open up the advanced grading op options. Uh, so here was the simple direct grading piece that we just saw, just give it a grade. Uh, I tend to use the marking guide um, style simply because I like the way it's more of a checklist rubric design. Um, so I can create a new one from scratch or I can use a predefined one from a template. Uh, from scratch would be if you're creating new. Uh, I'm going to show you some pre-existing ones that I use. So um, here is a uh, an example. When I use this particular, you can see that I've already built it. It's already created all the criteria in there. You also see for students and for markers, the markers are the graders. So I'm going to continue only because uh, I want to get to the point where I want to edit this. So now I can edit this so that you can see that construction location. Okay. So here it is. This is what you basically get when you're creating one from scratch or you're editing a pre-existing one. You can see that I've modified. This is for me. This description area is really for me, the teacher. Uh, and then you give it a criteria right here. You type in. This is some HTML code uh, just simply to make it a little bit more spaced out if you like. This is real basic stuff. Um, you can find it online if you like, or just use what's in the video. You can see that it results in a nice bulleted list. Uh, technical knowledge is another criteria. Problem solving is a criteria. Down here is the, the points available, and so forth. If you use a lot of frequent comments here, you can click on here and add a frequent comment, uh, something spelling errors. Now, obviously, this is not a problem in 3D design. They don't use words that often. Um, but we'll, we'll put in there, um, missing uh, several required elements. That's another. So one of the things about adding frequent um, used comments is that you don't have to type. You just click. It's like comments on a grade uh, report card type thing. So it's kind of neat. Um, so I save, and it just changes it up. Notice that this red thing, this is because... Um, Moodle's max number of points is 100 and my rubric is actually 130 points. Don't worry, the math will work itself out and it'll be fine. Uh, regardless if you divide by 130 or divide by 100, it's always going to come out to the same basic grade. Uh, the reason though I do with the higher scores is so that they can really see where the meat is with the assignment. That's just a personal preference. So that's the marking guide. Um, so a rubric is a little bit different. I actually uh, have, I think, just one, but I'm not going to go try to find it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to pop up and I don't want to waste the video. So that you can see right here, you would give this uh, just the name of it. I'm just going to call it rubric test. Um, down here, criteria would be um, problem solving um, would be, and then your total points for this level, total point, or the criteria for this level, this one, this one. It's like uh, any other typical rubric matrix. You can decide on how the different things are shown, etc. 
Okay, I'm not going to bother saving this. Cancel. Now, what's a little bit different with this, I realize this now. Let's see, while I'm chatting here, I'll see if I can maybe actually, if, ah, there we go. Um, so this is another teacher's rubric, but we'll use this just to show you how it's graded. So I hit continue here. Um, so when I actually go into the actual assignment, um, Let's go grading method. So that you just so you can see right here, I'm going to go grade, and right here is where I would grade. So right here, you can see that it highlights. So yes, yes, yeah, no, and you can write comments over here for that uh, there. And then when you're all done, you just save the changes or save and go to the next one. So that was pretty convenient. Um, and that's a rubric. That's your traditional rubric matrix uh, style of grading. So it's really nice. You can do the very basic, simple uh, direct grading with just scores. Um, then you can do the marking guide, which is a more of a checklist rubric with scores and criteria specific. Um, and then you can do the more generalized project uh, rubric matrix type stuff like what you see here. So that's the different grading methods available in Moodle.